to remove and install the rear axle on your Ranger XP Kinetic, follow these steps. Park the vehicle on a flat level surface. Ensure it is in park and remove the key. Next, remove the center cap from the wheel. Then, remove and discard the cotter pin. Continue by loosening the axle nut. Next, loosen the lug nuts while the vehicle is on the ground, but do not remove at this time. Then, safely elevate the vehicle. Reference your owner's manual for proper lifting techniques. Once safely elevated, remove the lug nuts and set aside. Then, remove the wheel and set aside. Next, remove and discard the upper and lower caliper mounting fasteners. Then, carefully remove the caliper from the hub and support it with a wire hanger, rope, or retention strap to avoid damaging the brake line. Next, remove the castle nut and cone washer and set aside. Then, pull the wheel hub off the wheel assembly and set aside. Next, remove the upper bearing carrier fastener, nut, and washer, and discard the nut. Then, tilt the bearing carrier down while pivoting the end of the axle out of the carrier. With a quick sharp jerk, remove the axle from the transmission. Next, Clean the anti-seize off the axle splines using a clean, dry cloth. Then, remove and discard the O-ring on the axle. If reusing the axle, remove and discard the compression ring. Then, inspect the threads and splines on the axle for nicks or burrs, and replace if needed. Continue by inspecting the CV boots to ensure there are no cuts, wear, or damage, and replace if needed. Next, install a compression ring into the groove on the end of the axle, and ensure it is fully seated. Then, install a new O-ring onto the axle. Continue by applying new anti-seize to the splines on both ends of the axle. Before continuing, inspect the bearing carrier bushings and pivot tube for damage and wear and replace as necessary. When reinstalling the bushings, ensure the non-tapered side is inserted into the carrier. Also, ensure the bearing carrier bushing is fully installed inside the carrier before installing the pivot seals. Before installing, Inspect the anti-seize on the gear case and hub assembly for dirt or debris. Clean and apply new anti-seize if necessary. Next, align the splines on the axle with the transmission and push in firmly on the shaft until the compression ring is fully engaged. Then, lightly pull on the axle to ensure the compression ring is fully engaged. Next, Rotate the bearing carrier up onto the axle and align the mounting holes on the upper A-arm. Then, reinstall the upper bearing carrier fastener from the front of the vehicle and secure with the retained washer and a new nut. Torque the fastener to specification. Next, insert the axle through the wheel hub and push the hub in until fully seated. Then, reinstall the washers with the domed side out and reinstall the castle nut. 
Next, carefully slide the caliper assembly onto the brake disc, ensuring the brake rotor is between the two pads. Before continuing, ensure any items used to secure the brake caliper are removed from the wheel well. Then, install new upper and lower caliper mounting fasteners, and torque to specification. Next, reinstall the wheel on the vehicle and tighten the lug nuts until fully seated. Then, safely lower the vehicle until the tires begin to touch the ground. This will help keep the wheel in place when torquing. Once lowered, torque the lug nuts to specification in a crisscross pattern. Then, torque the castle nut to specification. Continue by inserting a new cotter pin and bend around the castle nut to secure. If necessary, tighten the castle nut to align the cotter pin holes. Then, push the dust cap onto the wheel and ensure it is fully seated. Finally, lower the vehicle completely. For more information, see your authorized Polaris dealer or visit polaris.com.